hello friends let us start what is share share is nothing but it is as per the companies act uh, share capital of the company that includes the stock except when distinction between the stock and shares is expressly implied it is nothing but the owner capital of a company divided into large number of equal part of unit for example if you want to set up a company right and you require 100 crore rupees for setting up company now one owner cannot means can it, it can be possible it is not generally possible that to set up 100 crore rupees you require uh, thousands of people to come together right now here company decides some face value of share face value means the minimum value of the share say for example they have decided that one share will be rupees 500 each right so uh, what is my financial capability if i am a single common man my financial capacity is that i can purchase the share of 10000 rupees your financial capacity cap capacity will be different so i'll divide 10000 by 500 so i am able to purchase 20 shares so i am a common man called as x so i will be purchasing 20 shares of that company i will become the owner of the company of the part which i have paid similarly the person x person y person z and the number of x y z means they will be coming together and they will be collecting 100 crore rupees of capital which is required for the company so basically it is the part of the capital what we say is nothing but the share of the company how much shares you are having and the company will give you share certificate in return of that so it will be giving share certificate in return of that basically the public limited company uh, they form the uh, shares and here oh, the where the deal goes on is the share market of the company right so what are the types of share basically first type is equity share second type is preference share uh, so what is equity share equity shares are nothing but the ordinary shares ordinary shares they are those which do not have preference right means they are ordinary shares so here there is a difference between equity share and preference share preference share has some preferential rights ordinary shares don't have that rights which preference share had so what equity shares get payment of the dividend and second the repayment return of capital in case of winding up of the, of the company equity shares equity shares they get the payment of the dividend for example uh, what is dividend i'll tell you what is dividend so for example if i have purchased 500 rupees share of any specific company say for example 20 shares i have purchased so i have invested 10000 rupees in a company and now after a year company makes profit by using my shares uh, using my fund of 10000 rupees uh, they made the profit say for example 25 percent profit they made means next year what they made 12500 rupees now company like i have invested 10000 where whereas the company sees that total number of shareholders gave 100 crore rupees and the company has grown to 125 crore rupees so the company will decide how much the dividend has to be paid for per share person now the company's managing body decides that we will give this year 15 percent uh, dividend to the shareholders so on the basis of that 10,000 into 15 percent i'll get 1500 rupees as dividend so this is nothing but the payment of dividend which we, which i will get and what is the repayment uh, return of the capital whenever the company gets wind up where the company closes you, you will get the repayment or return of your capital so the capital is returned that is nothing but the uh, means your money which you have invested in shares you will get in return so here equity shares are and this is how you know uh, equity shares work now what are preference shares we will be looking in detail in the next slide to come thank you